You will need your tins, your cans, and obviously lots of fluids a day, hot day. I think the storms are coming later though. One Trevor, ready to go, champion. Right, so just before we start, we have had a few problems with Wi-Fi this week, so I'm actually going to do the class using me data. The worry is I'm not sure how much data I've got left. So if it conks out, my friends from out in Newcastle are going to phone us on my other phone and I'll either switch the Wi-Fi or switch phones over. But fingers crossed we'll get through this. But I've got a plan B and plan C if there's any issues. Right, some safety announcements. Today it is very warm. So, I've got my door open, I've got my window open, you want a nice ventilated room today to get some air in. You're obviously going to need to keep yourself hydrated as well. So if it's too hot, you might find yourself working at a lower level, which is fine. Just work at the right level you feel for today. Obviously, we can't advise you on your technique, I can't see you, so you're doing it at your own risk, but try and stay safe and follow my pointers. Um, have your medication at hand if you need inhalers or angina sprays and things like that. If you skip breakfast, don't join in. Morning, Max. Um, and obviously, if you're feeling any pain, sit down, have a rest, see how it goes. If it continues, maybe seek some medical attention. Right. Are we good to go, folks? Ready? Shift all this out the way. Morning, Sue. And we'll get a bit of a warm-up on. So, let's go for it. So drop down into a starting position, feet shoulder width, a little bit softness in the knees. Think of that core all around here, nice and tight, shoulders back, chin up. Just start marching on the spot. Turn side on, not too high with the knees there. And all we're going to do, roll those shoulders back. Big circles back. Give us a couple more. And relax. And then take them forward. If you can, make the circles a little bit bigger even. Let's do a couple more. Fantastic. Then we're going to change our feet move into a little step touch or a side step. And as we do that, just reach across the body with the arms. Nice and light on the feet as we do it. And then we'll loosen the neck off. So get the head to follow the arms. We're just mobilizing all the joints, working our way down through the body for the first couple of minutes. Fantastic. March it back out. Hands on the hips and from there, imagine we're going to hula hoop or something. We're doing some big hip circles. I'm not locking the knees out though. Change direction. Keep circling. We'll do one more change of direction for lock. I can feel the heat already to be fair folks. And now we'll take it down to the knees. So I'll just turn the side on. Hip height will be low. Just a warm up so not looking to work too hard. If you can though, get a little bit of a body movement as we do it. Perfect. Keep breathing all the way through. We're going to take it down to the ankle and do a heel dig, so a little step out. And this is a bit where we check my coordination and get the opposite arm. So the leg that's working. Who's got that thinking caps on? Getting hot. Turning the cap round. Let's do a couple more. Fantastic. Bring both arms in. Good stuff. Let's take it back into that march. So we've loosened those joints off. We're now going to take the heart rate up. So let's start the drive through with the arms as well on the march. Knees coming up a little bit higher. Fantastic. From there, in we're kneeling. Up the hip height, opposite arm, coming across to opposite knee. We're looking to feel a bit warmer, starting to breathe a little bit deeper now, folks. Prepare for the hard work we've got coming up very shortly. We're going to change this movement now and take it into a hamstring curl. So we're flicking it up at the back. Like right, my heels are trying to kick the back side. And then I'm adding in a push and a pull with the arms. Upper arms, lower body work together, we can. Remember, all this can be done in the seat as well, so we need to drop down to the chair at any point, that's fine for But we should be breathing a little bit deeper now, feeling a little bit warm. March it back out. Fill those lungs back up where you want to. Let's march it forward for a couple. Just checking the notifications and misses us there. I'll let her read. March it back. On the spot, forward again, drive through with those legs, remember, let's take it back. From there, into the knee lifts. Take these forward, on the spot, 
Take it back. Pull it here, let's finish with some hamstring curls. And as we've done it all the others, we might as well move forward with this so we've got the space. On the spot again. Take it back. And drop it back down into a march. Should be nice and warm now folks, so we'll have a little stretch and then go into the hard work. We're going to turn side on for the stretches. We're going to do a hamstring stretch to begin with. Heel on the floor, top of the ceiling. Bend forward at the hips. Good posture on the top half of the body, chest facing out. As soon as you start to feel a little pull in this muscle here, hold it at that point. Try not to bounce. Breathe all the way through the stretch. And we'll come up. I'll just switch sides to show you on the opposite leg, exactly the same stretch, hamstring stretch. Take to the point where you feel it and hold it at that point. Brilliant. Come back up, march it out. Couple of my body stretches and we're good to go. Let's start with the back. One hand in front of the other. I'm not linking the fingers, look. And then, round those shoulders off, imagine you're hugging a big tree trunk there to stretch those back muscles off, but keep marching as we do it. We're going to come out of that and get my posture back. Now I'm going to target the chest. So palm the hands, come down to the bottom of the back, squeeze those elbows closer together just until you feel a nice stretch across there. Fantastic. Give it a little shake off. Finish with some knee air lifts just to do a bit of a re-warm. Switch to two each knee. Change. And again. Last change for the doubles. Finish with three. Change for the last time. And there we go. Shake it out. Make sure you grab a drink. It is very warm. I'm sweating already. Keep the feet tapping though. It helps the blood get around the body. So as usual, I've got eight exercises for you. I've added two new ones in, so there'll be some a bit variety in there. 45 seconds, but there is 15 seconds change over time if you want to do a little bit more. And then we'll do lap two and cool down after that. You will need your car. Everyone good to go? I'll get the timer ready. As usual, three different levels for each exercise. And off we go. So moderate level on the first one. Calf raise and shoulder raise. Up onto the toes, arms up about shoulder height and down. We want to work harder. Take it into a squat and a swing. If we need a seat, sit down. Just do it in the chair with the calf raises. With a squat, remember weight comes down through the heel. Stick the bum out. Pace yourself low. If we need to drop down the intensity or change the levels, we can. 15 seconds to go. Finish with a swing for me. Last 10. This is when we should start to feel the, the sweat coming on, my heart rate going up. 3, 2, 1. Keep going a little bit longer if you want. I'll use a change over time for a drink or a bit of recovery. And it is a hot one, I can feel it already. Right, so we've got a new exercise coming up. It's a side punch with a leg going out to the side. Moderate level, we'll punch low. Higher level, punch high. Make sure the legs are working as well. And again, this can be done seated. This will be testing the coordination as well. It's a brand new exercise that we've done. I reckon men struggle to do two things at once. Let's see how he's like getting on with this, folks. 20 seconds to go. If we start to tire, take the punches lower. Make sure the legs aren't cheating. Keep them working as well as the arms. Reach right across with those punches almost there. And there's a bleep. Thought it was never going to come. Shake it off. Fill those lungs back up. Keep topping those fluids up. Tough one coming up next. So fill the lungs back up. Are we ready? Half jack. Arm and leg work together. You can get both arms going if you want. So there's a moderate level. Higher level, full jack. But remember there's higher impacts to so be wary. Your knees and hips on that. And we've also got the option always to do it at chair base. So find the level that's working for you. And in this heat, 
This level may be working on previous weeks, but what we might find is we'll have to drop it down to level two. That's fine. It's a hot day. Ten seconds to go. Keep pushing it, folks. Almost there for this one. Sweating me already. And shake it off. I'm going to grab a quick drink. Remember, keep the feet tapping, even if you're just touching it off the floor, it doesn't have to be a march. Right, folks. Get those tins going. Knee lift. Bringing them down from a high position. Or if you want, you can add that impact in again. Just increase the intensity. Oh, we need to drop to the chair, that's why it's there. We can also lower the range of movement. So, a few options there, just find the level that's right for you. And again, just be wary with the impact. Just put added strain on the joints around the knee, hip and ankles. So we can take that impact out and still work hard because this is a tough exercise. Good cardio one. And it's upper and lower body. Almost there. There's our people. How's everyone doing? Okay? Keep it going. Got another new one coming up here for you folks. Are we ready? So, moderate level. This march or jog and jab, however, more intense one is a jab and a kick. Opposite arm or opposite leg. So again, it's testing that coordination, getting the brain working as well as the body. If we're struggling, take it down to a march or a jog on the spot with a jab. I'm going to try to keep this going. Got to think about this one. 15 seconds to go. Again, this can be done in the chair easily as well. So loads of varieties for your folks. Steve, if you're outside in this heat, make sure you're getting plenty of fluids on board in between. And there's the beeper on that one. Tough one now. Okay, a little breather, keep the feet tapping. I take my cap off, but my hair's a nightmare. It's getting cut after I work today. Are we going to go? One we normally do. Tough one on the shoulders. Jogging and marching on the spot. Round about shoulder height, get them circling. We'll start off going forward. Now we're going to take them back. Now the shoulder's quite a small muscle compared to the other one. So if we start to tire, you can start to feel the burn. Give it a quick shake off. Bring it back up. Keep it going. Grip those teeth. I'm going to work hard today. Set what nice for the weekend. Okay, I'm taking them back. About 15 seconds. Can we keep them up here for the last bit? 10 seconds. Change direction. Whew, time standing still, I think. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Whew. You should definitely feel that in the shoulders. Give them a good shake off. Shake the legs off. Another new one coming up for your course. Are we ready for a new exercise? Been thinking about it the day and adding some variety in. So, moderate level, a squat. I'm going to do a sit to stand in the chair. If you want to work a little bit harder, I'm going to squat and kick. Squat and kick. Obviously, alternate the legs. Come down from the front. Try and get the upper body working as well. Squat down, kick, weight down through the heels. If we're struggling, just take it down to the squat. 20 seconds, squat, kick out. Squat, kick out. Tough one. Keep it going. If it's getting too hard, drop to the squat, drop to the sit to stand. Loads of options for it. But this is getting me a sweat on, folks, so hopefully it is for you. Almost there. Whew. How's everyone feeling after that? Right. One more to go before we get a breather. I'm going to put one tin there, one tin there. Make sure you've got some space. Let's go. So it's either a jog or march on the spot for the moderate level, or take to the chair. If you want to push yourself, it's that shuttle run forward and back. Touch both tins. We can jog it. 
We can power march it. Find the level that's right for you. Whew. Keep it going. 20 seconds. We've got a little bit left in the tank. We do get a little rest off on this one. This is our final exercise of lap one. Almost there. I've got about five seconds. I'll try and get one more short run in. Can I beat the bleeper? Yes, there we go. Whew. Right, folks. Lap one over. Use this time well to get a rest in. Keep the feet tapping. Definitely get some fluids on board. I'm starting to wish I would have done this outside the day. Get a bit more fresh air, but it is a hot one. Keep the feet tapping though. Another minute or so, we'll go back out. There is some tough exercises in there today. So on lap two, if we need to drop at a level, that's fine. Hot day, new exercises, hard work. Arms are sore. That's a good thing. As long as they're not too sore, as long as it's just like uh, feeling the burn. How's the legs? There was some new leg stuff in there as well. Are we ready for lap two? 20 seconds or so, then we'll go. Whoop. Oh, I'd lost one of my tins there. Right, are we ready for lap two, folks? Okay, moderate level. Calf raise and shoulder raise, which can be done in the chair. Oh, we can take it in that sort of kettlebell swing almost. Weight down through the heels, bum sticking out. Work the shoulders as well. Push yourself. Even halfway through, where you think, oh, that's a bit too much. Change levels. That's the beauty of the circuit. Mix and match it up. Turn side off. 15 seconds, I'll swing it out for the last 15. Whew. I need a shower before me quiz, I think. Five seconds, can we keep it going? That beat max, never sounded so good. Right, little breather in between. Keep those fluid levels going. One of my new ones. Right, side punch. The, the thing we could do here is maybe forget about the legs, so make sure the legs are going. High punch to work hard. Bring it down a little bit lower if we need to. And again, this can be done in the chair. Punch right across the body. Don't let those legs cheat. Keep those side steps going. Another one testing the brain, testing the coordination. I've had a good few practices of this this morning just to make sure I could do it myself. Come on, 10 seconds. Almost there. If you're struggling, punch lower. Where's that beat I got? There it is. Oh, time's going slow today, folks. Little breather. Getting a bit of air coming in from the door, that's good. Because we've got a tough one coming up next. Right, let's go. Half jack. Both arms. One arm. Up to you. Option to do it seated as well. Or if you're looking for punishment, I know some of y'all, we can do this full jack. If you start with a full jack and you start to think it's too much, that's fine. Take the impact out, drop it down a level. You need to slow the movement down, lower the range of motion, lots of options for it to get the level we need to be at, folks. I'm going to push myself. 10 seconds. Getting close to that finish line all the time. Where's me beep? There it is. Shake it off again. Look, I'm sweating. Get a drink on board. Right. Let's go. One of our new ones. Got the option. Jogging and marching on the spot and jabbing. Keep the jabs all the time. Or we can jab and kick. You can also add a little bit of impact in if you want. 
and we can just take it down to the lower impact. And again, it tests that coordination, opposite arm to the leg that's working. It's a little bit of the rotation of the trunk in as well, folks. 20 seconds to go. Like I say, I'm pushing myself. If we start a tire, jog and march on the squat. Still a good exercise, good cardio work in the arms as well. Five seconds. Almost there. There's me beep. Shake it off again. Okay. I've never ever sweated so much in one of these circuits. Right, let's go. Tins back out, knee lift. Arms coming down from a high position if you can. Don't let the knees drop, keep them up to hip height. Again, drop down to the chair if we need to, especially in lap two. If you are looking for punishment and add a little bit of impact in, tough one, keep it going. Geez, still got 20 seconds to go on this one. She got somebody's messing with my clock today. Time seems to be lasting for a while. Grit those teeth, last 10. Remember, take the impact now over one. We can bring the arms down from a lower position as well. There's the beat we're waiting for. By my calculation, I think we've got three more to go. And then we've got three more. I'm going to top up the fluid. Right, let's go, folks. Shoulder circles, out to the side. Marching or jogging on the spot. If they start a tire, drop them down. Take them back. You should be starting to feel it in the shoulders now. I know I am. Change direction. I'm going to try and keep them up though, but if the burn gets too much, drop them down. Because we've still got 15 seconds. Change for the last time. Go on. Don't let the arms drop. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, if like me, I feel that in the shoulders, get them loosened off. Oh, jeez. Two to go. One of my new ones. Okay. Squat for a moderate. Sit the stand and we need to go into the chair. Squat and kick. Squat and kick. Keep that going. Just checking everything's okay. I think we're still getting a bit freeze on the screen, but I think everyone's using their Wi-Fi and their data. Just got to do the best we can, folks. We're nearly finished. If we're struggling with a kick, take it in the squat. Three, two, one. Right. One more to go. It's in there. In there. March or jog on the spot, I'll do it in the chair. Or harder option, shuttle run. Tin to tin, can to can, whatever way you want to see it. Just make sure that you've got room, it can be a jog, it can be a march, but have a clear space if you are doing the shuttle run. Twenty seconds left, come on, last one. We're just cooling down after this one. Come on, almost there. Ten seconds, see how many I can get in. Five seconds, can I get one more? I've got to beat the beeper. And there it is. Right, little breather. Grab yourself a drink, keep the feet tapping. That's a hard work done, we've just got to cool off now. Everyone okay still?
Okay, a little cool down. I'll get me tin out the way so you can all see. Just march it on the spot. Whew. Not too high with the knees now. I'm going to slowly bring that heart rate down because that was a tough one. Stretch off and then my on. Change that movement. Little flip kick. I'll turn side on. Nice and loose with the legs. And already you should start to feel that heart rate drop. Take it into a little half jack. Again, you can get a little bit of arm movement if we want, but not too much. Not looking to work hard now, folks. We've done all the hard graft. We're looking to start our weekend after this. Toe taps out to the front. Definitely going to have to jump in the shower before me quiz. But I've actually got to go straight into a meeting after this one. Okay, side step. How's everyone feeling? That heart rate starting to drop down. March your back out. This time, hands on the hip, so it's just the legs doing the work. Exactly the same with the kicks. No arm movement, no upper body movement now. Toe taps. Not too far out to the front with the reach of the legs either. Take them behind. Should definitely be cooling down a bit now folks. I'm starting to think Steve had the right idea by doing it outside. I think there'd be more air circulating. March it back out. Take it into a little side step. What time? Couple of minutes. Back to the march. Okay. That heart rate should have dropped, so what we'll do now is just have a bit of a stretch off. So we'll do the hamstring stretch to begin with. I'll turn side on. Heel at the floor, top of the ceiling, bend forward at the hip. Balance on the thigh that we're not stretching. Good posture with the upper body. And we'll hold these a little bit longer. Come back up. I'll just quickly turn around so you can see it from the other leg. Exactly the same stretch. Breathe it all the way through. Don't hold your breath. Come back up. Do a little calf stretch because we were working them in the circuit. So weight down through the heel. Check both toes are pointing straight ahead. Your knee on the front leg should be above your ankle. You should feel it in the calf, which is the muscle at the back of the leg there, down the bottom. Once you feel it there, hold it at that point. A couple seconds longer. I'll just turn around and show you the, the stretch on the other leg. So exactly the same technique. Just hold it at the point where you feel it there. Fantastic. Give the legs a little shake. March it out. Not too high with the knees though. Let's do that back stretch. One hand in front of the other. Give that peach ball a big hug as we're there. Stretching the back muscles off. Then we're going to come out, get my posture back. Chest stretch, palm the hands down the bottom of the back. You should feel it across the chest there. Fantastic. Shake the arms off, take it into a wider stance. Let's go into a little step touch. And as we're doing that, just take it in a wider stance. Left hand down by the, the side, right up into the air. Lean off the left hand side just to stretch the side off a little bit here. Just until you start to feel the pull, hold it at that point. Come back upright and switch arm positions and go over to the other side. Keep that stretch. I've been getting some messages there. Oh, that's all right. Okay, let's finish with some deep breaths. In and out, and again, deep breath in and out, deep breath in, breathe it out, bring your hands to this position, give yourselves a clap for, very well done, look at this, from a low impact circuit, tough one a day in this heat, how's everyone feeling after that, I'll stay online just for a little bit to check everyone's okay. 
Keep hydrated today if you've been working hard. So throughout the day, keep your fluid levels topped up. Check my Facebook and YouTube for any updates over the weekend. Got some stuff coming in from my partners as well that you might want to try. And as usual, any feedback, any suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. As we come out of lockdown, we want to keep all this stuff going. So the better service we'll provide, the more likely we are to, to continue to do this uh, method of work, even when we're not social distancing as much. <laughs>